What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So I've got some more woodworking projects for your viewing pleasure. So we need to copy a kitchen cabinet, basically make another one that looks like what's in there and put it on the other side of the kitchen because they can't find it or they're, you know, not in stock anymore or whatever. And uh, then we're going to make a bookcase built in for the, uh, for the bedroom. So let's get our hard hats on, go get started. So obviously, uh, first off, I just got some plywood, got it here, threw it on the table. And I'm starting to find that this, this little setup I got with the uh, router table, it's right, right there. Router table built into this cheap plywood and two by four woodworking table woodworking vice and some planes this is working out pretty good but i'm gonna i have to say if i was to do this again i would build the top out of two layers of three quarter inch mdf and i would probably build the legs and the whole underside with three quarter mdf and then i would buy the soberg's 400 hundred dollar woodworking vice and I think uh, it would do a lot better. I would still probably put the router table in. I mean, this is a tight little shop, but I have no problem making cabinets and doing all sorts of things down here. So yeah, just something to look into. But yeah, I got all the, uh, all the pieces of plywood are cut. You know, the boring, easy stuff. Basically a bunch of squares, you know, toe kick cut out and I'm gonna start gluing and nailing this carcass together and then we're gonna start on face frame so the face frame I got some hard maple right here because that's what the uh, other cabinets are he's gonna hire a painter to come in and just sand and paint everything so I don't even have to worry about that nice and uh, the center panel it's a rate it's actually a raised panel door so I got some half inch MDF, which we'll make the center panel out of. I think it's much safer.
like the uh, cabinet carcass is done. Uh, everything's flushed up. Hand plane. And uh, now I'm gonna start ripping down the face frame. So we're gonna put face frame and divider down the middle. And then this right hand side door is gonna be uh, you know, a fake door. It's just gonna be screwed shut and there'll be some shelves behind it. And then this left door will open but uh, we need to do we're gonna get the face frames on there and then we can measure up four doors So now we're gonna throw down some glue, set the face frame on, and this left side is going to be visible. It's gonna be, well, not too visible, but it'll be up against the stove. So I'm gonna go with just a minimal hang, uh, hangover here. And then on this side, I'm gonna leave a little bit more overhang because I'll have a little bit of room to scribe this in to the wall. You know, if there's any, uh, if the wall's way off, I have a little bit of room to work with. All right, now for the, the most difficult part of uh, building a cabinet is the doors. The doors are always the, uh, the hard part because there's a lot of steps and a lot of pieces involved. So first, you need to figure out if you're doing an inset door or an overlay door. The kitchen cabinets that are there are overlay. So I'm going with a uh, half inch. So the hardware that I got leave these said half inch to three quarters overlay soft close yeah so I'm going with a half inch overlay so basically the door is gonna overhang the face frame a half inch on all the sides so these are a little easier because you don't have to get your gaps like super tight and super like clean you just overlay the face frame if it's a little off no one's ever gonna see it. So we gotta rip down the uh, maple uh, to two and uh, I believe it was two and a quarter, two and an eighth. I'm gonna say two and a quarter. Yeah, two and a quarter. Uh, yeah.
I just threw in a couple pieces of uh, plywood just to kind of fill this area in. And uh, this will give us something to put a screw from the inside and hold the door in place after. And also, we're going to put two nice deep shelves right here. So when they you know, open this, they'll have two deep storage shelves in the back. And then they have this, you know, wide open for whatever. So here's the two shelves. Um, we just got to get some uh, edge banding on there. So let's do that. And there it is. Just like that. So I found a little trick with edge banding. So you, you're putting it on with the heat gun. You know, you work it in, burnish it. And then, you know, you router the edges off and sand. But sometimes you'll notice it starts to pop off in different places. So I just take my, my finger and I tap. Oh, you hear that? Hear this sound? Yeah. So right here is not stuck down. You can hear it, so I'm going to heat that section up again, make sure I work it in, and just tap all the way across. If I don't hear that difference in sound, then I know I'm good, then we can pop them in. Well, I don't know if it's exact, but I'd say that looks pretty good. We'll have to see when we get over here. I think the, uh, the other one had more of a, a turn on the back, but I don't, I couldn't find that bit. So this, this should do. It's on the other side of the kitchen. It's not like it's right next to the other cabinet. It's on, you have to turn around 180 degrees. Maybe they won't notice. I don't think the uh, homeowner cares. He just wants to, uh, you know, basically put a skirt on a pig and uh, sell it. Well, there you go. 
Can you handle it, Johnny? See, I, I, you would figure that the hinge would be on that side, but you'll see when we get there that this makes more sense to have the hinge here than fake door. And then I ripped down a bunch of quarter inch MDF so that we can scribe in and put these down for the toe kick. And the reason there's four of them is because the rest of that plywood is going to become a, uh, a bookcase, another built-in for the other room. So we're gonna go drop this off in Boston, get it out of here, and then come back and make that. So we're gonna get this in the truck. All right, this is the place. We're in Boston. They uh, got kind of a cool view, but uh, I wouldn't want to live here. It's uh, really, really congested. So here's here's the kitchen cabinets. You know, I just kind of snapped a picture of them and tried to, uh, we didn't have to be exact. The guy didn't, you know, he's gonna, I think he's gonna paint these white. But this is the side here. You can see some like half-ass braces. This thing's actually starting to slope forward. So we're gonna yank this. We're gonna put in our cabinet that we just made and then put this stone back on top. And you can see why we have the fixed panel on this side and door opening towards the fridge. Cause you're standing here in the middle of the kitchen. You, don't, you wouldn't want the door to open this way towards you. So that's why I kind of did it the way I did. And uh, I framed all of this about a week ago. It's gonna be a giant, I mean, huge pocket door. It's like two doors that goes into one giant pocket. So, I mean, this was a, it's a hefty wall. Frame these two closets. And uh, yeah, this is the next project that we're gonna go back to the shop and make now. They wanna put uh, like a bookcase built in with just a bunch of shelves here. You know, after this is drywalled, I accounted for drywall. You know, we're just gonna slide it in and tack it into these uh, these studs. And they'll have, you know, a nice tall bookcase here. So that's the other thing we gotta start. So it, it seems like he, you know, the guy's trying to make this place nice. He's trying to, you know, not break the bank. But we're also gonna be digging the basement down by about a foot, I believe, to get that seven foot height mark and pour a new slab and then finish it down there and connect this place to downstairs and make it one, you know, uh, much bigger unit. So yeah, the demo here was rough. It was uh, horsehair plaster. I believe it was lead paint on the ceiling. I'm not sure I didn't test it, but I, I acted like it was anyway, I always do. You know, I had air purification systems in, uh, you know, in 95s. <laughs> but yeah, it was uh, horsehair plaster and then they framed another wall on top of that and then just put sheetrock. So it was like I had to demo twice. And uh, yeah, we're just trying to save. We're gonna s sand the floors. I made this threshold. Kind of did the same thing in the closets, yeah. Yeah, check out this pocket wall. I always have problems with pocket walls wanting to bow out or bow in, you know, after the fact. So I put, uh, I mean, crazy braces, cross braces. And then I added these, these metal uh, angle, angle irons, whatever you call them, slotted angle strut and screwed it in to help, uh, you know, stiffen it up. Should work. Yeah, just gonna get that cabinet in here and then we're going back. Let's go. All right, we are back. We've got uh, three sheets of birch and I got a lot of ripping to do. So I'm just gonna be uh, ripping away. I got many shelves, many sides, make the backs. 
It's going to be a minute. So I got the, uh, these are gonna be the two back panels. One is gonna stack on top of the other. And uh, th these will be the sides of the bookcase. And then I figure probably four shelves per bookcase, but I have two extras just in case. So I got everything ripped to, uh, you know, the width. Uh, but we're gonna cut it to length after. But first I'm gonna go and edge band all of these and all of those. I don't have to do that or these. This is gonna be for a door trim at the top and this is for a toe kick. So the, uh, they wanna trim, trim this bookcase out like a door in the wall. So I need a spot across the top for trim. Oh, this is gonna suck. This is a lot of edge banding. Time to edge band. So I decided, instead of using a heat gun, I had this old uh, iron. <laughs> I, I don't iron clothes. It's a nice little one. I figured I'd try this instead of uh, the heat gun. Then you're heating and pushing down at the same time. Hence the name Iron Knot. God, what a dumbass, huh? I'm awake, I'm awake. That, that is so boring. But I got the uh, edge banding on all, all these pieces. So basically I'm gonna take the two long side pieces, put those on, and put one panel in the bottom on both sets, and then work out the top, the bottom, and uh, shelf spacing afterwards. I'm just gonna make two boxes, pretty much. That's all I need to do. Pretty easy. We got the uh, the two halves of the bookcase, the, the the box made. This is the bottom has a toe kick, and the top one will have just uh, you know a piece running across the top for some trim. So we just have to add uh, a couple of shelves in each, and then get them out of here. Go install them.
All right, let's load them up to Boston. All right. Old, new. The other side here. Gotta put the fridge back. And the built-in bookcase is in place. I'm gonna drywall up to it and then put face frame like these doors. So I left it out half an inch, half inch drywall, trim. That's what they wanted. That's what they got. Okay, you can take that off now. You don't need it anymore. So, hopefully you enjoyed that. Make sure you subscribe. Thumbs it up if you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.